okay friends in this session we are going to see about even or odd program in this to implement this even or odd program we have various techniques but i am using the one of the best technique that is ternary operator so that in order to do, do that first we need a header file slash include i go stream but in some of the compilers we use dot h extension and my compiler does not support the dot h extension in replacement of that i need to include some standards that standards are using names space std so that it is equal to the dot h extension and i am getting some of the standard uh, methods or some of the standard syntaxes which are going to be included in the iowa stream it is nothing but input output stream in this in order to do that first i am writing the main program or main function okay next in order to check that uh, value first we need to uh, declare a value and a data type of it now i am taking the variable as n to store my va value and the data type is of type integer so in order to enter the value i am using a see out statement to ask that which value you need to check next i am going to read the value the reading can be done by using see in statement so that uh, my value is going to be read by the see in statement now the major uh, and complex part of our program that is using of ternary operator and first i need to say that in order to check a number it is even or odd the basic logic that we all know that is by dividing it by 2 if the remainder is going to be 0 we can say it as even number or else we are going to declare that as odd number so that in order to do that first i am writing n and dividing the entered uh, value by 2 the remainder is e equal to 0 then i am saying the compiler to show me the output that it is going to be even number else it is going to be odd number okay okay friends so i am giving a question mark it means that it checks the number is even or odd so that if it is even i am going to print the n value and say it as even number in order to do that i am keeping them in double quotes and semicolon it means just as our else statement if that number is not an even number it goes to an else block so that in this i am going to write it as n and it is going to be number of odd now i am giving a semicolon and uh, as you all know that a return statement is needed for this as we have declared above main by using a data type as int now i am going to compile this program and check this first before doing that i need to save this program it is of uh, name even and uh, we have used the logic as ternary so i am keeping it as t and turn and i am going to save this now by compiling i need to check the compilation time of my code so it's showing the compilation time that is 3.80 seconds and my output uh, size is going to be 1.834 mb and uh, now i am going to run this okay now i am giving a number as 2 and it is showing that 2 is even so that we'll end this session